Good morning, y'all. I put sunscreen on my face so it looks white. But I just filled up our water jugs. Merle is waiting in the can am because he knows it's time to go. <laughs> and we're about to head and start working on the house again. We got the big trusses up. Um excuse me, buddy. We've got the lath on one side done and we're gonna try to finish the other side today the lath and the fascia and the bird block uh, we could be ready for 10 on top probably by tomorrow but i don't know if we're gonna do that or if we're gonna do the gable walls and try to get the garage and the little walkway to the garage done and then do all that we'll figure that out at some point we kind of do it as we go. Uh, Dad was in a big hurry to get it done, but like I told him, it's no race. His back is messed up. He's got three herniated discs in his back that they found again when they did an MRI on him, I think two weeks ago. So, yeah. And ignore the dark circles under my eyes. My allergies, as always, are terrible. And I have permanent dark circles. <laughs> Thank y'all for following along. Appreciate y'all. Since we got bad weather coming this weekend, we ain't really decided, and by we I mean daddy, because you know I don't know what's going on. Ain't decided if it'd be better to have a roof on it or not with the winds coming. Yep. So we might be working on putting these gable walls in. Yeah, well, we're almost ready for bed. We are on this side right here, and we will be in another. We're going to get it ready on for that metal. side. But it's slick this morning because it's real. Yeah, it's gone. foggy this morning. Bad. Foggy <clears throat> and damp and all the wood up there is going to be slick. He got a toe up back and I ain't letting him get up there anyways yet. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When it dries off, she'll let me up there. Though. Yeah, because I ain't got a choice because he's stubborn and he don't listen to nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Anyhow. Let's get on with the, with the thing here. We're going we're gonna to knock some more of these things. Like we did in our other videos. He's got a video on his channel on how and why we knocked him. Did you put one on there? I ain't yet, but before this goes up, I will. I got to catch up. We ain't got time. By the time we get home, I just want to go to sleep. Instead well, you of putting these show together. Them right there why we're not you. Right here. Look. Yeah. Hang on, let me turn this around. <laughs> you got it? Yeah, it's going. Yeah. I'd turn this, it around. I can't. All this technology's getting to her, too, see? So You're going too you, fast. All we do is we take and pile them up like we got them right there notch them every two foot and then that way our two by fours will slide right inside of them and then like we that. can screw to every stud and straighten everything out and it pulls everything tight and we can uh we can purling yeah purling we can screw the metal to that we'll spray foam the whole thing hadn't decided yet if we're going to sheath it first with plywood or osb or what first or something i don't know may spray right to the metal just depends. I called Dagum OSB plywood the other day and people got all bent out of shape. I'm like, y'all, well, I know it's not technically that, but I'm going to call it plywood because I'm a simple minded redneck that's not a Dagum construction worker. I don't give a damn. It's for bait sheathing. Yeah. OSB. Yeah. So what we're going to Just like I called them bricks the other day instead of blocks and everybody got bent out of shape. Y'all calm down and ain't that serious. Yeah. Anyways. We're going to put this on. Uh, Cable in right here in, big eight foot by six foot wide door. Yep. And we do have the materials to build the front and back porch. So it's gonna be a 20 foot porch. We've got four more trusses over there. We're gonna have two on the front, two on the back. Oh, eight foot, eight foot by 20 foot wide on the front. Oh, 20 by 12 on the back, so. Yeah. So we got plenty to work on. We got plenty of materials. They just delivered it and... Uh, yeah, because before, now, we didn't have enough materials for the... We didn't even have enough These walls. Yeah, to finish that up there. But yeah. We are going to have it ready for metal. By this afternoon, it will be ready for metal. Oh, Lord. <laughs> and we're going... I'm hoping to have both of these gable ends in, too. Probably won't. We'll, we'll definitely have it ready for metal. So we, okay. So if we wanted to put metal on it, we could put metal on it. And I would love to keep the, the rain off of it, but we're having, you know, possible tornadoes and I don't want to have to 
you know, I don't want anything to get inside of here and start picking up and snatching and pulling. Yeah, right now the, the air can, yeah, right now the wind can just go right through it because everything's open. We start putting roofs and stuff on it with the weather we got coming. And it's supposed to be like that all weekend, so. Just a little concerned about that. Yep. Yep, the porch. Yeah, the porch is gonna look good. Eight foot out this way. Yep, with them big old trusses about right there. Yeah, six foot set of steps right here in the middle coming down. Big six by six post with them big beams sitting on there just like those. It's gonna be exposed. Thing's gonna look good. Stain them the same color as we do in the barn doors and the, yeah. um, Shutters. Yep, two foot overhang. I don't know if y'all can see how we did the lab up there, but I screwed a two before we screwed a two before down, and then turned the, the two by six up edgeways and screwed through the two by six into the two before, and that way it kept. Every, I mean, everything's just gun barrel straight, perfect. And then when we go to putting whatever we're gonna put on the inside right here, we've got five inches right there to nail to or screw to if we wanted to put old tin or. or you could put board and batten. You could put that pine board and batten up there between those beams. Yeah. Still thinking about the... We still figuring out the interior. Yeah, I'm still thinking about the templates. You know what I'm saying? Templates. Yeah, you know those templates we cut out for the steel plating? Oh, yeah. I'm still thinking about going over the joints with that and just doing it out of quarter inch lube on it. It do be looking good like that, though. Like this? Mm-hmm. Okay, well, we can leave it like that. That's I don't just... know. We'll figure it out. We got, we got a lot of figuring to do. Yeah. But now, like I said, these things are still wet, too. They got to dry. Yeah. You don't know what they're going to do when they dry. But we still can get to the all thread and tighten everything up as it as it dries. So. Yeah. We'll keep y'all posted. Yeah, 80-something degrees today. That'll help out. I mean, it's, you know, of course, this rain coming ain't going to help it. But uh, it'll run off. It'll be all right. It's going to be all right.